Welcome to readtheticker.com. Today we're going to talk about RTT Trend Power OBV. This is a custom indicator from the second box on this chart. OBV stands for On Balance Volume. RTT Trend Power is the custom indicator um, already part of the website. RTT Trend Power OBV is simply the addition of the On Balance Volume indicator and RTT Trend Power. For example, when situations were weak in trend power here, sorry, over here I mean, and it was strong and on to balance volume, we add them together, we show that the indicator uh, resembles the strength. And obviously in here we have a situation where it's strong here in trend power, but very weak in on balance volume, but and it's weak up here. It's just a better representation of price and volume activity um, relative to the price trend. So, so let's um, examine some observations. This is obviously very bullish. This is very bearish. Same with the price action. The 200 day moving average here and the 400 day moving average. What to look for is in, a, in an ongoing uptrend is moments of weakness where you can uh, take advantage of it for further um, for higher highs. Here we have moments of weakness where the price where the indicator pulls back and comes back in. Okay. Here we have a breakout, but we don't probably don't know it's a breakout until it just, obviously you know price action just carries it on up. And we have a breakdown, but it's not really confirmed until it fails there. Uh, probably the breakout was probably confirmed further up here. I really, I really consider a breakout when it really smashes above um, 15 or 20. If I just draw a horizontal line. When it gets around there, the price action is so strong it's generally a breakout or a breakdown. Very nervous when obviously, we, for example, we had a smash down here. It's way too much selling to, uh, to really consider it as a, as a pullback. These are minor pullbacks. Something's more, something more at hand here. For example, I uh, highlight this correction phase here, and I highlight this correction phase here. Price falls both about 20% in each case, but in, in this case here, the volume is so strong on the sell down that it uh, has implications further on. The pro there is no recovery. Obviously, the fundamental news. I can't remember what it was. Um, Saw the breakdown of this trend. Here, the pullback was mild. There wasn't any aggressive volume in the pullback, and it allowed it for higher gains. For example, here is a, here's a sign of strength up here. The pullback here didn't even get anywhere near zero. Pretty pretty tame. So over here, here we have a little sideways action with a flag pullback, and but action, but the price action stays above um, pretty high, still above 20 here. Even though the pullback here, even though the price action sort of comes sideways and the volume really tapers off, it still holds above zero, so it's still very strong. Here and here we have a sign of strength from here to there. Um, accumulation happens along here. The pullback's very mild. It's the sort of thing you want to see. Dramatic sign of strength. Okay, so it hasn't really broken out, but the pullback is mild. There's no real selling going on, and a breakout is imminent. You, um, this because this indicator is similar to RTT Trend Power, you can watch a Trend Power video for more tips and clues on how to use it. Basically, um, you want to use trend lines for breakouts. Um, obviously, the higher the, the higher the indicator holds above 15 or 20, the more stronger the trend and um, more support up volume. For up price has an over down price and down volume. Typical Wyckoff logic: you want rising volume and higher volume on the upside, and less volume on the downswings, which is uh, four to perfect four. So if you're hunting for longs, that is obviously where the price action and volume price performance supports your bullish view. Here are the, a few highlighted points that you can observe. For a moment.
let's take a, a look at a few examples of the RTT Trainer Power ABV. Here we have it on Apple. Um, okay. Now, as you can see, that um, Apple has been in a rip roaring trend. Um, if we want to find moments of weakness in the trend that you would wish to pile up on on buying Apple stock, uh, just look for the test of zeros when it comes goes out and comes back in. Bit of confusion there. Boom. Boom. Obviously, in a, st a strong trend like this, and um, if you have a larger a bank account than most, buying in the red areas um, would obviously um, get better price ac prices for you. But as you can sort of see here, um, it's great timing of a good solid trend. At, for example, the 200-day moving average is the light red line. It's not always near the point where you want to buy. For example, here there's the 200-day moving average is nowhere near that. Here it is. There it's not. There it's not. Um, breakout was down here. Okay. And once again, we'll do the old flags. I suppose we could do more trend line breakouts. We want a bit more um, technical. Um Oh, yeah. well, the, the mother of all breakouts. Here we had a breakdown test and just continuing on. Oh, it was rising. Didn't really get breakouts about there. Okay, well, obviously the um, the top here. Incredible price action here. We just took off and nobody knew it was going in. But here you can see there's divergence there. Also, when you put your horizontal line in, say above 15, um, as you as you can see, all these little continuation patterns along here, thing was just roaring up. Does it? I mean, the fact that it stays above 20 or just going slightly sideways, it's um, still a strong price action. If you look at look down below here, very strong on balance volume. It gets a bit uh, weaker over here. So you can sort of see that the the, um, the volume in this rally is not the same as the um, its predecessors. So what, see this weakness here and trend power. No weakness up here because on balance volume is very strong. And as you can see here, moments of strength up here. So or falsies, false breakouts. Whereas on balance volume is so negative, it's not showing up here. It's just a, a cleaner. Sharper price volume trend indicator for uh, comparing one stock to another. And if we go on and have a look at uh, Bank of America, okay. Let's talk about it. We'll talk about here. Obviously, here's the here's, a, here's the um, good solid trend. Not the best of trends, but it's here you consider long positions. And it starts going um, bearish down here. And people might have thought that this was a breakout. I just didn't get above the 400 day moving average. You know, a little bit of a test here. Nothing happened after that, the divergence. Big warning there. So you basically would have forgotten about Bank of America. Even in these little moments here, we're tested on five dollars. Final support. From here to here, to, oops. From here to there, we had basically a bullish period of time, and we also had, okay, that's above sort of around twenty-ish. We had a pattern here. Um, if you look at closer, it's a nice horizontal wedge that broke out. Indicator was very close to above fifteen. You know, next 20 it was always very very strong even though it was on the 200 day moving average this indicator says um, 200 day moving average forget it this is going higher I'm going to break out here the price action just keeps on falling down it doesn't even form a base it just goes straight 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 so you really have to we well, have to um, take into account the trend line break there 
I'm waiting for it to settle. Because any purchasing along here of Bank of America will, would not have worked out so cool. So you once again, you get, you get positive back there. Holding above zero. Always a bullish stance, even though it's holding above 200-day moving average is another confirmation. If price and volume just gives you the confidence that um, the institutions are behind it, and you can enjoy that too. Once again, I said, as I said down before here, it shows, it shows weakness here, but the unbalanced volume is positive. So you might want to look down there and say, ah, oh, I'm about bogging it. Unbalanced volume is brilliant. Maybe have a look at the timing up here. Once again here. Thank you very much for watching.